What's up you guys? I'm back with another video. What's up you guys? I'm back with another video. Always remember, be you, stay you, do you. Today's video is gonna be um, something different. Uh, those of you that are wondering how I clean my ear gauges, uh, I'm gonna show you today, even though I already cleaned them, but I'm gonna clean them again. It's almost bedtime for me, so um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna need alcohol pads, some stretching balm, which is right here, and this balm has um, tea tree, it tells you right here. It has tea tree oil, sweet almond, uh, joba, seed oil, beeswax, wheat, germ oil, tea tree, like I said, and Marie. I don't know, Mariah, Mariah, Marie, Mariah. I'm guessing these are the uh, the ingredients that you mix this with. But not only that, my other one is. This one is called Golden Joba Oil. This is what you could also use. So this one is, this one is kind of different from this one. Reason why, this one here makes your ears puffy, like fatter. Also, it like let's just say they're swollen around your ear. Uh, this is good for that. It will make the swollen go down. And this is to just keep your ears moist and um, what do you call it? Moisturize and soft. So what I do is I mix this in here and it becomes like this oily paste as you can see. So I use both at once so it's better for me. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to open this. Keep it open. And I'm going to take my earrings out so I can show you guys my um thing. So as you can see. My ear is kind of scratched, as you can see, because I, like, by mistake, pulled my ear when I was asleep, so it kind of, like, I scratched it, but I'm okay. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open a uh, alcohol pad, you're gonna clean your ears, so you're gonna clean, so you're gonna go like that with your ears, boom. Just clean them. Yeah, I thought I was bleeding because I have a cut, so it's healing. And also, to be really clean, open another alcohol pad, right? Clean the other side of the ear, you know, to keep it clean. And then what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna open another one, right? So you usually, you can use three, no more than three alcohol pads. And you're gonna clean around the earring, clean inside. See, and it's all clean. And I use these, the reason why I use these squishy ones, when you go to sleep and you have hard ones in your ear, like it could really destroy your ear like it did this one. So it cut me so I don't wear it no more to sleep. So these are squishy so you could lay down, they'll squish and they'll go back to the size they wear. Also, it's good if you don't want to wear metal ones. You can wear these. They're comfortable. They don't make your ear irritated. So, I'm going to clean my second one. Warning. Do not put this oil on your earrings because they will slip off. They will keep slipping off until you like wash your ears and everything so I'm gonna put these over here on the tissue and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get very little right rub it between my finger and rub it on my ears so you want to do this for about maybe five to ten minutes or so to massage your ear get the blood flowing because remember if you don't massage your ears and you don't get that blood flowing through there your ears will hang and they look like dangly like saggy skin 
So if I was you, do that. If you want to gauge your ears. And then here comes this one. This one's kind of like my bad one, so I gotta be really gentle. Oh, it feels good though, I'm not gonna lie. I should, like, I cut, like, by mistake with my nail, I ripped, like, I took it out and I scratched it. So that was the worst. So what I'm doing, I'm just rubbing it, massaging it. You know. So yeah, I'm gonna do this for 10 minutes and I'm gonna be right back. Alrighty, so I'm done. I'm going to clean my fingers with the alcohol pad. Because this stuff could get really greasy and oily. Now, it is time to put the earrings in. So what you want to do is you can't just put the earring in like that. So what you want to do is squeeze it like a sandwich and fold it like a burrito. So it should be like this, like that. And then you're going to want to, boom, put it like that in your ear. And boom, it should open right up. And voila, your ears are clean. Yeah, your ears are going to get red from massaging them. It's because the blood is flowing through them. So don't be worried like, oh my God, my ears are really red. What's going on? No, it's because you got the blood flowing. Second one, boom. And then just voila. That's it, you guys. Uh, I do this every... I do this morning and night. Because um, those of you, if you watch and you have gauges. Uh, warning, if you do not clean your gauges, they will smell. So, and personally, me, I never experienced that. Thank God. Like, seriously. But if you experience your ears smelling weird or whatever, it's because you're not cleaning them. Or you being lazy and you just cleaning the earring and then putting them back in. No, don't do that. You got to clean your ear with alcohol. Wash them with soap too. I literally like took a shower like an hour ago. So I did all of that. So I just wanted to show you guys. And this is how you do it. And your ears will stay puffed up like this if you take care of them. Also, I advise you don't use any hard... Um, hard gauges to go to sleep because they're not good they will make your ear stretch out like more and you don't want that so get the stretchy ones silicone uh they probably like ten dollars and spencers i don't know i got these in spencers they were like 12.99 so you can get them online or amazon they got a different color pack for like 14.99 comes with like what eight different kinds of colors you can get um, but you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, smack the like button. I'll see you guys on another video. Always remember, be you, do you, stay you, and I'll see you on another video. Peace.